Osho State University calling. Osho State University. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Odunayo Clement Adepoye, on behalf of the management, staff, and students of Osho State University, cordially invites the general public to the 2022 2023 Entrepreneurship Orientation and Training Program themed 21st Century Entrepreneurship Skills and Economic Sustainability Challenges and Way Out. Date, Date. Monday, 31st July 2023. Venue, Venue. on Lagun Soye Auditorium of Union. Shumen Campus Oshobo. Time 10 a.m. Prompt. Guest speaker Professor Olara Waji Salami, a professor of operations, research, and business management, entrepreneurship father of the day, Alaji Abdewasil Adejumo, MD Fortunate Bread, entrepreneurship mother of the day, Yeye Modupe Adeleke Sony. Come and get the orientation right, as the best way to predict the future is to create it. Announcer Dr. Adekwejo Adegun, acting director, entrepreneurship studies and innovation, Union Shum. The director told me that there is breakfast and there is going to be lunch. In virtual, and ever since then, we've been taught how to be doing things virtual and physical. So I want us to learn from that. There is going to be a physical program, but we can do a virtual entertainment. Can we do a virtual breakfast? They will just display the food. <laughs> and you will imagine eating it. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. I hope uh, all of you have registered. So please, in the meantime, we are going to play live music. And as soon as the principal launches and the rest of uh, our guests enters this auditorium, we are going to continue the rest of the program. Please make a do better for them. Please make a do better for all these departments and the Thank you very much, Sarah. You can have a These are the people that have been working tirelessly ever since, uh, I think, two weeks now. They've been working to ensure that we achieve success and we achieve the main thing of this program. And behind all the breakfast and the lunch that you'll be eating, then we have all this Thank you. And for the fact that you did not appreciate this coordinators, maybe that we will go and meet them, that maybe they should switch into virtual breakfast. Thank you very much.
Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to start the recognition with the number one staff of Adia University, the tallest vice chancellor in the history of the university, the man that we call Mr. Grant, the man that during his tenure of the age of six months, the university has won over two thousand dollars. Of the uh, provost, 
College of Science, Engineering and Technology, Professor Israel Oyewoli. The Dean Faculty of Computing and Information Sciences, Professor Kenneth Akwabi. The Dean Faculty of Business and Applied Sciences, Professor Maruku Oyewoli. and a member of our public council from the College of Management and Social Sciences to be precise, a professor of political science, Professor Panagi Oyezana. <laughs> the director of our sports unit at the university, Dr. Waidi Suri. <laughs> the director of the Diocles of the Campus of Public Affairs, Dr. Choi Dawsi. <laughs> the Deputy Director of the Center for Entrepreneurship Studies and Innovation, Dr. Mary Lee. <laughs> the Director of our High Seven University, Engineer Muiwa Patoko. <laughs> the representative of the Director of our Peter Audit and how the team uh, from the body campuses of the university, you are highly recognized. All the departmental coordinators of the entrepreneurship sector would this right so that everybody can appreciate you together. Thank you very much. Because of that time, we might not be able to mention all your names one by one, but we sincerely recognize you. Thank you very much for coming. The gentlemen of the press, thank you very much. Great Please assist me to welcome the person sitting beside you that you are specially welcome to this room. <laughs> Thank you very much. I would like to especially recognize all the team that follows the year, which we call members of the Yenuras Entourage. Thank you very much. Honorable Bola Hamidji, Honorable Tony Lawa, Mrs. Samuel Lawanagi, Alaji Honorable Mumba Lawanagi, Abiri Sose, Honorable Bajiano Iyabo, Honorable Iwane Mubas, Honorable Titi Omokonyi, Alaji Abasura Sabiola, Mrs. Adeke Adeke, Mr. Amici Peter, your highly recognized. Thank you very much. Can we please have a good one of Thank you very much for coming. On this books, I would like to bring to the podium for a special welcome address, the director of the Center for Entrepreneurship Studies and Innovation, Dr. Adepoju Adigo, for the welcome address. Can we please have a good one of them? As you come forward, welcome.
the department of coordinators, our entrepreneurship student association, and lastly, our student Great Nigeria student. Twenty seventh 
is a left and right MBD of Osho State. Permit me to inform you that its curriculum vita runs over 125 pages. And I've tried just to extract, compress everything into just one page. And I have just two minutes to present that. The major implant facility and he has authored and co-authored over 130 high profile research articles and his closing area of academic calling. His contributions to knowledge in the area of plant intelligence and stress physiology are global reference materials. In each one of topless 10% global scientists in this field of research. Our Vice Chancellor is a man with vast international experience. For example, he has served as the ambassador scientist in Nigeria for German government's Ombud Foundation. He also served as the regional project coordinator for the government of Canada funded projects in West Africa between 2011 and 2020. He was a senior research fellow of the United Nations who served in Mysore, India. He was a senior of the funding agency of the government of Germany. The African German Network of Excellence in Science, we call this Agnes. Our Vice Chancellor is a very strong and powerful force in the world of grants. He is the winner of nine highly prestigious postdoctoral research fellowships, which he utilized all around the world, particularly in India, in Pakistan, in Austria, in Germany. International Research Grants and about 100 travel grants. Do you know the value of those grants? 12.5 million US dollars. And if I can watch that together, that is about 12.5 billion dollars.
affairs and public relations are succeeded in doing is to expose me <laughs> and to take his time, probably not sleeping, reading my 150 curriculum that I ate, and trying to summarize everything for the pleasure of everybody, but I feel highly honored and humbled by that summary of my life. I want to welcome Mama Yenua, Mama Mudupe, Sonia Adeneke, Mother of the Day. She is the mother of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of our own state.
that launch programs did not just come to the university, just like that. It was a policy of the federal government of Nigeria. And it came around 20 years ago, when unemployment was arriving in the society. There were no jobs for the youth post graduation. And the federal government formulated a policy on youth employment. And that policy was for the fact that universities must set up entrepreneurship centers to train students on how to be innovators, on how to be able to set up businesses so that they will be job creators and not job seekers after graduation. And you know, I'm very certain that only a few universities have implemented this particular policy, and Julia is one of them that have implemented the policy. We have two entrepreneurship centers created and established across our campuses. One is here in the Shogo campus, just after this building up there, and one is in the campus, fully equipped to train students on what to do. Our idea is not to make people tell us and fashion designers. We are not trying to make our graduates shoemakers. We are not trying to make them soap makers. What we are trying to do is to build knowledge in these students so that after they have graduated, they will be able to pursue the objectives of the university. And what are the objectives of the university? The universities are set up for the production and propagation of knowledge, to bring up innovation and expand innovation, and use the innovation to develop societies. That is what the university is all about. The universities are not vocational centers. We are train people how to make microphone or how to make shoes or other things. But because if you are a graduate of a university, and you want to set up a shoe manufacturing company, you must have an idea of what are those things that you require to set up a shoe manufacturing company. If you want to establish a shoe making industry, what do you need? The reason is you need to know as a graduate so that people who will work as consultants for you will not be cheating you. They will not be asking you to go and buy what you do not need. And that is the essence of what we are trying to do. All the people that we have put there, we have put them there so that this student can see them. How they are operated, with those of them that are digital, how are they operated? How, what do you do to maintain them? So that by the time this works, who we are grooming, established companies, they have it at the back of their mind, what it takes to run the business. So it's not that we are trying to make the laws and uh, something. So that's the first thing I want you to understand about that. You know, mobile phones originated in the universities. Originated in the universities, but people who originated mobile phones in the universities did not manufacture a single one. What they did was to set up companies outside the university model to start manufacturing mobile phones. I tell you and I put it to you. In 2002, April, when mobile phones came to this country, the biggest of the phone that time was Samsung Blueface. It had no camera, it had no voice recorder, it had nothing except that the face was blue. And that anybody that was looking for a new girlfriend that time, it's just for you to go and sell one of your father's uh, shoes or gas or something, and buy some good face. The moment you put it on, people will say, ah, some good face, but what you mean? Or like that, you know, that one. That was that era. Nobody thought that the time will come in the history of mobile phone technology. When we have a phone that we have ready, it will have television, it will have video recorder. And who knows what is coming next? Next thing is that. Artificial intelligence. Where they can remove my hair from a photograph and put it on the head of this guy. And they can symbolize and they can they can synchronize my voice online and make it appear as if I'm abusing my mom. I'm very sorry. <laughs> These are the things that we are in now. So, what is coming next? What are we expecting next? And I tell you what we are expecting next. You want to hear what we are expecting next? You see these two bands in my hands? One is here, Abby. There's one here, Abby. This is a report. This is not the view. It's not the view. This one regulates my blood pressure. This one beats down my blood sugar. Anytime my blood sugar rises, maybe I, maybe I take a lot of uh, tea with sugar. And I test it and the blood sugar goes down. This thing triggers immediately goes into my system and removes the blood sugar. <laughs> this, one, this one, together with this one, whenever 
time my blood pressure rises as a result of pressure of God. This one signals that this blood pressure is about 130 on over 170. Same signal to this. And this thing starts to work and I feel it immediately. First thing the blood pressure down. That is where they want to go. Then you pass me. Are we going to need medical doctors in the next 25 years? No! Even from his presentation. 
If you are happy, I'm glad to have him as a vice chancellor. Can you please give him a round of Thank you very much, Mr. V.C. I would like to especially recognize the presence of the provost of the College of Law, Professor Omoji Halabi. Can you please appreciate that provost? Thank you very much for coming today. I can also see the Dean of Student Affairs, Dr. Mrs. Juliana Makidele. Can you please have a you better appreciate the Dean of Student Affairs. Thank you very much. I can see the, the young entrepreneurship male, and I can see the female, but uh, as time goes by, I'm going to recognize them in due time. As we speak, we are currently going straight to the keynote address, which is going to be delivered by a professor in our College of Management and Social Sciences, a professor in our Department of Entrepreneurship uh, Studies. And before we go ahead to his keynote address, I would like to quickly call on the Deputy Director of the Center for Entrepreneurship Studies and Innovation, uh, Dr. Sisuloide, to read the citation of uh, Professor A. O. Salam. Can we please appreciate the Deputy Director? All protocols be observed. I'm here to read the citation of the keynote presenter, Professor Salamu Aki Olangwa. Can you please rise? Salami Aki Olaniwadu started his career as a graduate assistant in the Department of Business Administration, University of Illinois, in the year 2002, having graduated as the best student in the department. He did his MBA and MSc in the, name in the same department before proceeding to Labute Ogomoshi for his PhD. In management science and later transfer the service to Lamte and the request of the government, where he did the PhD in the year 2006. He has been serving in many capacities in the university system, first as a departmental examiner officer in the University of Idori, coordinator of professional program and postgraduate seminar coordinator in Labtech Ugomo Show. Salami's service was requested by SMAP to come and start a new college of management sciences in the year 2011. It was the first pioneer head of four departments in SMAP from the year 2011 to, to 2011 to 2013. Before each department was separated in the year 2014, he became a professor of operations research and business management in the Department of Business Administration for now in the year 2014. He was the first substantive dean of the College of Management Sciences for now from the year 2017 to 2020. Professor Salabi transferred his service to Yunioshi on July 1st, 2021, to come and contribute to the community development of his home state. He became Dean, Faculty of Management Sciences, Okoko, in August 1, 2022. The position lies to only today. We are served in many university committees and at national level. We are served in NC curricular reviews, accreditation of programs, and signing assignments. He has published many articles in reputable, local, and international journals in the areas of business administration, entrepreneurship, public finance, marketing, operations research. And he is happily married and blessed with children. Can you please join me as I welcome Dr. Salami as he gives his students to celebrate. 
Vice Chancellor, Professor Oduayo, Clement and Boye. Other principal officer here today, our mother of the day, the Yemu Dupe, Adele Kesan, MD, Fortune Dupe, Deputy Representative, my distinguished uh, colleagues, they are provost, deans, and director, and other gentlemen uh, and women that uh, accomplish the uh, invented guest in this place, and our students. Great and dear students. Great and dear students. Thank you. Today's keynote address is going to be divided into three sessions. The first session will deal with entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial skill, and the importance. The second session will deal with the 21st century entrepreneurial skill acquisition. Some of the skills that you can acquire while in school. And the last session will deal with the challenges and way out of entrepreneurial skills in Nigeria. Next. Entrepreneurship is about providing solutions for societal problems in an enterprising way. You provide solutions to societal problems in an enterprising way. So entrepreneurship is not about business enterprise alone. It's not about profit and loss alone. It's not about doing business alone. When you provide solutions to societal problems in an enterprising way, then you are, you are involving in entrepreneurship. Because we have to of entrepreneurship. We have to show entrepreneurship that we deal with philanthropies and the NGO. They are not making profits, but they are providing solutions to societal problems. Next slide. So, what is the enterprising way? To be in a, to, to be enterprising, you are enterprising as an individual. That means you are an entrepreneur. To be enterprising it means you are innovative. To be enterprising it means you are creative. To be enterprising means you are efficient and you are effective. So if you are providing solutions to societal problems in an innovative way, in a creative way, in an efficient way, in an effective way, it means you are an entrepreneur. For example now, a pastor or an imam that is dealing with religious organizations, if you are able to manage your church very well, if you are able to solve all the problems and everything in your church, you are an entrepreneur. Because there are other issues that you are going to resolve as a pastor. Family issues will come to you, so many homes that are about to be broken, they will come to you for advice, you will give them. And some members of the churches, they will donate money that to, to use to repair some things in the church. You are managing to finance of the church also very well. So if you are doing all this stuff of very well, you are a social entrepreneur. So entrepreneurship is about doing things in an enterprising way, efficiently and effectively. If you are in a mox, you are managing the mox very well, you are an entrepreneur. So it's not about business alone. It's about providing solutions to societal problems in an enterprising way. And as long as you are enterprising, in doing things that you are doing, you are an entrepreneur. So what are the characteristics of being enterprising? There are six basic characteristics of being enterprising. So you look at the six characteristics here, see whether you possess some of these characteristics. If you possess all the six, it means you are an entrepreneur. If you can look at the figure there, you see that capital is the last. Some of you students, if they ask you, where is it that you are an entrepreneur? Where is it that after you graduate, you start looking for work, you cannot do anything? What will you tell us? You will say, there is no money. It is a mistake. Money, capital is the last in that figure. If you lack one to five in that figure, and you have capital, you will fail. If you lack 21 to 5 and you have capital, you will fail. I read in the news 
Donc ça te dit, d'avoir un coup là, on a un cas, il nous coucou, vous nous coucou ça. Ça fait que l'on est député, c'est 30 ans de l'air. En ce moment, il est retourné. Il a eu ces émissions, il a eu un coup à 30 ans de l'air, il n'y a pas de l'air. What is the law? It's what you buy. That's what you buy. It's not because of the money. I know some of you, you have more than 1,000 euros. You use 10,000 euros to buy credit in your car. So it's not about money. It's not about the capital. It's about what? Capacity. Because you can be an entrepreneur, you must have what? Education capacity. Mental capacity. Technical capacity. Spiritual capacity. So, on, until you have all those capacity to stand the kind of pressure you want to go into, don't go into it. If you don't have all those capacity, don't go into those in the business. Think about another business. If you don't have the technical capacity of the business you want to go into, go to another business. Don't say another person will do it for you. They won't do it the way you do your business. So, you need education capacity, technical capacity, you need spiritual capacity, you need mental capacity. To go into any business, to go into any venture, whether public making or not public making, we need all those capacities. The next one is creativity. You must have the ability to create new goods or services. You must have the ability to create new goods or services. Innovation is the mother of creativity. Innovation is talking about creation of idea. It is the idea that will translate into goods and services. So you must have the ability to create new goods or services. If you don't have that ability, if you are not creative, then you are not an entrepreneur. Don't go into that field. Look for another business. The third one is courage. It must be bold. Be bold to try it. Go for it. Be a go-getter. Don't be afraid to take risks. This is the police. Don't be afraid to take risks in the police. We are not talking about risk of Yahoo. Any risk that comes away from the law is not that what we are talking about. Go for it. Be a go-getter. Be bold. Don't be afraid to take risks. Some of you, because you are afraid to take risks. That's why you see people when they are doing uh, POS business. You, you, you go and join them to do POS business. What is in POS? Why can't you think about some other things that you can do? Then the next one is collaboration. You cannot do it alone. You must collaborate. You must have mentor. You must have somebody that you are in your company. You cannot do it alone. You must try and look at other people. We are not talking about completely new things. You can plan the existing product to look new. We talk about creativity. We are talking about completely new things that you invest. You can rebrand the existing product for you to do new. So, therefore, you must collaborate. You cannot do it alone. You have to collaborate. You have to network so that you can be successful. The next one is curiosity. You need to be curious. If you, if you get an environment now, you see that all of them are in All of them are a father, a father like that. Or some other things that are so common. You have to say, why is it that there is nobody selling Indomie and men? Indomie and egg and tea. Why? In that area. Is it against the rules and regulations of that environment? Any business that is against the rules and regulations, don't go into it. Because we have different rules in different areas. You cannot say you are in NYC now, you are in Safara. And there is nobody selling pork in Safara. You know, you go there and say you want to start the capitalism, start you want to sell pork, pork meat in Safara. You are likely going to be killed. So we are not talking about the risky thing that, that contravenes the law of the land. So look at this. Check what, is, what happened that people are not doing this business. Be curious. Find out why is it that people are not. Don't, don't be, you don't go to bad one of those things. That before people are doing PUS, you join them. Before people are doing Okada, that's what people are doing. They do Okada, 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 they, are not, they don't have the capacity. Because they don't, have, they don't have, they are not creative. They are not courageous. That's why they join them. You don't need to join them. As you are growing now, you get it right from the beginning. So, be curious, find out why is it that one particular venture is not 
happening in Nigeria. Find out. Is it against the rules of that environment? If not, why can't you go into it? Be bold, be courageous to go to that office. New things. Plus, you can be, me, be different. Don't do it. Don't try the bad work. Me, make yourself to be creative and be different. Then the last, the last one in that figure is capital. You must have the um, little capital to go into the business. But I'm saying that don't say capital is your trend. One thousand dollar can start a venture. Now, we have the following skill that entrepreneur must have. You must be, you have some basic skills that you must have. You expect the entrepreneur skill and skill development. So, we, there are some basic skills that you must have before you can be an entrepreneur. The first one there yeah, is communication skill. You must have the communication skill between you and your customers, between you and your workers, and some other things, your other skill, to so start uh, to calculate very well. So, the next one is marketing skill. To be an entrepreneur, you must have the marketing skill. You must have the skill of the price, the product, place, and promotion. What type of price you want to be selling it? What type of location you want to locate the business? Don't locate it where there are too many of that type of business that you want to go into. What type of promotion means you want to use? The price product. What type of product you want to embark on? The next one is innovative skill. You must have the capacity to innovate new ideas. The next one is problem solving skill. You must be able to, I mean, make the decision. You want to make the decision, you must be able to make the right decision at the right time. Next slide. Then, productive skill. You must have the productive skill as an entrepreneur. The skill to be productive. You must have it. That is that creative uh, skill. Then, Social administrative skill is everything of our entrepreneur is not to work, work, work. You understand? In social gathering, you can gain new ideas. Understand that? So, social skill is very important. You must understand what happens in your environment. In your social environment and every other thing that's going on. The next one is financial skill. You must know how to manage your sales, the, the, the money you collect from the sales. And your savings. Because some of you, when you start a business, and the business is booming, the first profit you make in the business, you use it for party. Or for party. So at the end of the day, your capital must have been used for party. And in accounting, capital is a liability. Capital that you use to start your business is a liability. Profit is a liability. It's only assets that are your asset. So the capital that you are used to use to start the business is not your property, it's liability. So therefore, you cannot spend the capital that you are used to start the business. Therefore, you must have the financial management skill. Then, you must have the logistic team. Where is the warehouse you want to locate? Where, what type of transportation method you want to be using? Then, time. Doing the right thing at the right time. You must be able to manage this. So those are the things you require for you to be and a good entrepreneur. The next one, the next one is that in the 21st century, you discover that technology and communication is the force. Because every day, technology is moving. Every day, means of communication is moving. Therefore, you need to be a financial period, you need to be a host with those new dimensions. So for that reason, it is important that in, in, to sustain our current economic situation, Private sector and entrepreneurship investment is very important. So that you really want to employ people. You don't, you don't depend on government to give you jobs. Not only that, you will be paying your tax to government. By employing people and paying your tax to government, you are, you are contributing to the economic goods of the nation. You don't depend simply on government work. You are also to invest. Through small and medium scale enterprises. Next slide. Right? Therefore, if you have all these entrepreneurial skills, 12 skills mentioned, you have advantage of what? You are future ready. But at the school, if you are in the school now, all those skills, if you are able to acquire all those skills, that means you are future ready. That means you are prepared for the future. And anything you learn now will be with you forever. As we, you can get job with the government. And you have the requisite skills also. You can be doing it side by side. Your income will improve. 
then you must have, you have network. By the time you have last day, you have network. As by the school now, you meet so many of your colleagues from different family backgrounds. You can ask them, you network, ask them, enjoy your family. What type of business are you doing? Do you have family business? So, to that, you can ask your hostess. In your class, you can network and gain more on the partnership and you can learn through that. The next one, next slide. The next one is that by the time you gain all those things, you have the same confidence to take risks. And confidence to take risks will make you to be successful in the time You must take this level risk. So you have the confidence to learn all those things, you have the boldness to embark on any business. The leadership. By the time you learn all those things, you have the leadership skill. Because at the end of the day, you will employ people in your business is expanding. So you must have the honesty to manage those people that you are employing. So the next one, perseverance. This is very important advantage for entrepreneur. When you start, it's very low. But don't be discouraged. Move on. Don't be discouraged. Move on. I, I know that when you move on and keep trying, you will win. So in the beginning, it's very low. But you must have the perseverance to continue. Don't be discouraged. Next, what is that? By the time you have that, you are, you are well doing with all the skills, all those who have been you will be able to perform many tasks at the same time. And I need to that it's not only when you create your own business, I mentioned it earlier, that you are an entrepreneur. If you are working for somebody and you are doing it very well, you are what? You are an enterprising person. For example, that when I was coming in the morning, I saw one woman. Me, trimming the, 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 the flower at the gate. As she was doing it happily, a woman trimming flower at the gate, in our gate here. As she was doing it happily. So that's an entrepreneur. That's what it's called, an entrepreneur. So, some of the things, if you are working with somebody and you have your enterprises, then definitely you are an entrepreneur. Then again, I said it earlier, go for it, challenges, face it. Be a co -creator. Don't be discouraged and don't be afraid. The next one, then finance. By the time you learn that skill, you will be able to manage your finance. You will spend the money you are going to keep for people of things. Next one, you will be a problem solver. By the time you can take a decision at the right time, then your problem will be able to solve problem of your personal problem and problem of your employee. The conclusion is that you, as a student, it's good for you to have suitable and appropriate entrepreneurial skills now. Because what you have now that you are young will last with you. So don't be lazy when you are in the school. Learn one skill that will, that will be useful for you. Don't so that you can be job creator, just like the director mentioned, and not job seeker. Because the way Nigeria is doing now, so many unemployment, which is leading to social crisis. So for that reason, be, think about what you can do when you are still in school like this. Think about the type of skill that you can have as an entrepreneur. So that you can, you can you be somebody that will contribute to the economy, you be somebody that will be employing your colleague, and not that looking for a job of two years, five years, and so the people are still looking for a job for the last 10 years. For the last 10 years, they graduated. They didn't get any job. And yet they are not doing anything. It's not a good thing. Next slide, please. So these are next slide. Slide two. Slide two. Yes, these are some of the uh, skills that you can learn in the first century. So if you are not here, learn one of these skills. Think about this. There are the first three skills that you can learn. The first one is of the degrees and repair. You see, it's not that you learn how to do mechanic. That's why I'm the problem of the car. With the collaboration of mechanical and electric design department, this type of skill can be less. You see, also that you just want to in the first century as a man, you can learn to see how to check faults of your car. And the uh, one thing I want to see is that we rely so much on certificates in this uh, in Africa country. We see some people having two PhDs. So who have a 3 MSc? 
So mechanical engineer cannot repair their car. So that's the problem. Where is some uh, countries, in some foreign countries, all times are skills in mechanical apprentices. They will repair cars. So we need skill, we need to acquire more skill in this our country to sustain our economy. We rely too much on the two PhD, three MSc, but we want to do postdoc, do other things. But a uh, professor of animal science cannot change a cow to go and eat. We will look for full and eat boys. You see, the food and this not right, like this, four years or five years, we change a cow to be pushed to go and eat. If you are a young cow, who do feed the cow? You think you can buy enough to, to satisfy the cow? Or see when the cow sees grass, or take it to where the cow will take water. So too many, we learn too much of facilities in this side of the world. When you get the challenges, we will talk about this. We need to learn the practice. Let's leave all these facilities, too many facilities. That's our problem. Let's learn the skill. To the next one, next slide here, then the can you can produce the butter. Also, in collaboration with mechanical, engineering, and electrical environment, inverter training is, is good. You can learn how to make inverter. It's a very innovative system to test it. Next, then generator. How to couple the generators, how to make generators. Also, an innovative system in test it. You can learn things like that. Next, web design. Web design is also very good. But most of the things that are in the you can look at the you want to post on website and comments like that. Website is very good, you, you, you can manage. Next one is artwork. Artwork, how to do artwork. It's also a very good skill that you can learn. Next, page making. Page making is also another good skill. Then, making of snacks, bread, and packaging of meat. It's also a good skill. In terms of family, where I'm trying to show, so the key is that we need collaboration between the departments to have a funding center for entrepreneurial funding. I will talk about this in the challenges. We need to collaborate in our center for entrepreneurial funding so that people in the department of agree. We change up all this one. We change up all this one. People in mechanical engineering can change the issue of uh, the repair, uh, the to the test point of the car. Then people, as well as in hats, in killing, can change people in hats. Next. So making is a large good skill. Fashion design and block making. Block making is a large good skill that you can learn. These are profitable skills that by the time you have, you know how to make it. You will be sufficient. You will be okay. Next. Painting, hybrid and giga is also very good. Air styling and happy is a large good skill acquisition that you can learn. Then artisan. How to repair things. Then, small family. Small family business is very good things. Next, restaurants, photography, cosmetology. So these are the skills that we are learning. And they are very profitable skills. The reason why I, I started to show all these things is that we need, we need collaboration between all the departments to work together and form a solidified center of entrepreneurial study. How to get inside. Next slide, please. Number three, the last one. Challenges are well. So the challenges of skill, some of the challenges that we have is lack of exercise skill. We don't have the skill. Most of the people that are embarking on entrepreneurship, they don't have the exercise skill. We have to try to try to try to try to to two sessions. The internal factor and the external factor. The internal factor is lack of reference skill. There's no, no reference to, to embark on the kind of measure you are going into. The second one is challenges of patience. By the time you start the business, people, you don't, you don't have the patience. But you want the money, you want good money. And you know, in the beginning, it's not always easy. So you need to, you need to take it easy in the beginning. So that's the first challenges of the video. The next one is poor marketing strategy. Because everybody is locating POL business. Bagging salary in a place, you want to locate it in that place too. Why can't you think of another environment? Because people are selling things in one particular price, you want to sell it in another price too. 
So you need to learn this marketing strategy. Before marketing strategy, any entrepreneurship will let you feel. They inadequate practical courses in our institutional curricula. We need to add more practical courses in our institutional curricula. Our curriculum is very important now. It's one of the biggest challenges in our university. And the institution that is controlling the curricula, they are also not FPA institution. So the curricula, due to our curricula, they are being put in our curricula that many practical courses should be introduced. The attitude of the institutional leadership, like our first now, look at what he's doing now. So you basically are not doing it. Look at this type of innovation. You got both of his leaders inside. Everyone in all the six campus now, they are watching what we are doing now. That innovative leadership. So it depends on the attitude of the leader. If the attitude of the leader is not towards the entrepreneurship, there are the challenges. But attitude of the leader is also a challenge. The lack of proper collaboration within discipline and department. I said it earlier, to have a solid set of entrepreneurial story, we need to collaborate. All the department will come together and collaborate. You see? So, Set that thing alone and not do it. We don't need to go and find people outside to come and see people how to detect force in the car. When we have a mechanical engineer, an electrical engineer in our campus. We don't need to see people and people to come and see people how to farm. When we have a great expert in our campus. So we must collaborate all the department and see them come together to form a solid set of the prayer for you. Then the challenge is in the external environment now is Lack of startup capital. People don't have enough capital to start. You, you may have good innovative business, but there's no capital for you to start. So it's a challenge in the external environment. The poor infrastructure facilities, bad roads, no, no good road network. Some places, there's no water, some places, electricity. And this is very important in entrepreneurship. So it's a, it's a great challenge in the in entrepreneurship. The next one is multiple transition. A small business that is just starting, that must pay, you tell it, that must pay for data, pay state tax, pay local government tax. Where do we want to get the money? So multiple transition is a very, I mean, very big problem for entrepreneur. The next one is lack of access to loan. Even if there are the facilities for loan, but are you getting this today? It's not this. Next one. The inconsistent government policy is also affecting and that in Nigeria. The role of regulatory agency, like AUC and whatever, or in this time, we're talking about 60 months. One, one policy just came that 30% should be somewhere, 30% should be for us, 70% should be for them. 30% of what? In your Sudan, we are operating on campus, the most successful investors in the campus in Nigeria. We may need to have 5% of our curriculum that will be online. So we can't have 5%, where do you want to take it from? Is it from the 70% or the 30% or from that that is not sufficient? So, you know, the system is still under consideration. But every agency with their policy, they are not giving university flexibility. The authority that the university is prior to have, they are not having it because of this agency. There is a lack of synergy between the industry and the academics. That is the synergy between the industry and the academics. There's a situation whereby some experts in the industry will come to the academy to come and say, come up and say, how to do it properly. Yes, sir. You can say, oh, Abuja has started something similar like that. Anybody in the industry that works part-time work, they don't manage this country. Any expert in the industry that works part-time work, like the people with the fortunate now, if anybody in the company works part-time work in the university, the university will give them part-time work just for them to come and say, our students will have to make bread. So there should be synergy between the industry and the academics so that our students can learn practical, practical skills. Then the way out. The way out of all this problem is one, education of entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs need proper education. I mentioned it earlier, proper education for them to understand. Proper education on the technology and on how to do it on innovation and on creativity. On creativity. The effort of the government agency on staff of capital. The government agencies will improve on staff of capital. You see, although SMIDA is there, CBN is giving something, part of the industry is giving something, but it's not enough. But I'm going to ensure that they are giving more staff of capital for potential entrepreneurs. 
Then the next one is graduate of full autonomy to our institution. Let the university do university of institution. Let them do their curriculum the way they want it, the way it shows there. Two months in the education, but this curriculum, instruction will have to do curriculum in two months. That's why this one cannot ensure proper entrepreneurial skill. Next one is the sort of collaboration. That's the collaboration between one university and another. Then, help for financial institutions should also be improved. Then, our curriculum. We institutions should look at our curriculum and see the way we can factor in some more practical forces in the curriculum. Then, there should be proper collaboration between the industry and the academics. Just as I mentioned earlier. Next slide. Then the last one is the grant. So grant also, students that is talking about money, or have to start this day, start of capital, can look into grant. At least I know this five this grant in Nigeria. They are giving money. Why is the student to do a new entrepreneurial program? They are giving money. Mass of industry is giving money, that's new entrepreneurial scheme. So you students can look into that. Then group one is also giving money to start business. The African Young Entrepreneur of Presa Grant is also giving money. And among others, there's some other, there's some other grants that you can get. So this five, they are very important that they are giving money. So I want to encourage our students, to send to our students, to send to graduates, to look into that priority. That is the only way we can sustain our foreign economy. Like in some other countries, like North, North America, Europe, Malaysia, the, the way they are sustain their economy is through a priority. So we need to look into it. This issue of reliance too much on government work is too much. Let's see how we can create work. Create work that you'll be able to make your own profits, you'll be able to pay tax to the government, then you'll be able to sustain yourself. So that is the only way we can develop our current economic situation. Because if you look at the situation of things nowadays, you will discover that things are not that easy in terms of our economic uh, growth. So, make your contribution towards the development of the Nigeria economy. Thank you very much. That was a wonderful keynote address by Professor Kiko Salam. If you're a musician, can you please appreciate him once again? Moving on, I understand the fact that there are many people that have questions. Please feel free to write it down. We might not be able to take it now because of the time. So we'll move on straight to good home messages, which is going to be done by the chairman of COPDD and the post colored advertisers. It's just one, one minute uh, good home messages. And I would like to quickly a call on the chairman of COPDD and the post colored of uh, science, Engineering and Technology, Professor Israel Oyu. Can you come please appreciate him? Thank you. Let me stand up and already establish a protocol. I want to appreciate the Center for Enter Pregnancy Studies for organizing this uh, program. Uh, my good will message will go to all our students. I want to encourage you to take the opportunity available, particularly in this age, for your own good. There are quite a number of skills that you can acquire, even from the internet. Some of the skills that uh, my children acquire, they go to through YouTube. So you just tell me about how to make it. How did you manage say I got this good in YouTube? So a lot of things that uh, are not available within our own time, you are opportunity to have them. So I want you to make use of uh, these opportunities, prevention, creativity, and curiosity. So let's make use of all these capacities so that uh, you can better your life and also better your generation. Once again, I want to come to you. Thank you. We would like to move to the short talk on entrepreneurship by the young male and female entrepreneurship of the day. And uh, I would like to quickly call 
on the Young Male Entrepreneurship of the Day, who is currently here seated, uh, Mr. Oduma King Olaide Adeliki. You have just uh, three minutes to quickly do your pet. So, can we please have a as a good call? The assistive protocol is here today. This is the place I'm going to make. My name is Oduma King Olaide. Uh, the CEO in Grace Ventures, which I produce donuts. My mistake brought me to this business. When I was a student, it was my final year. I had a carryover. When others were going for service, then I asked myself, am I going to sit down here to the next year without doing anything? Then I took a move. I went to I went to one of uh, Thailand because I had the experience. I got to him, he said, go and bring 10,000 and I to you how you explain yourself to me. And I said, okay, uh, he now said something. He said, I just want to manage it from you November. I think on money they need to go with Shalayara. Uh, and I said, I'm a Vishalasan. Then I went to I told my dad, I said, I need this money, which is 10,000 naira. He gave me. I said, I'm not taking that money to that man. I will just spend my dad's money to the last I would, uh, And my mom did something. She was a creature uh, where she was in school there. That, and I went to her, I said, Mommy, let me start this donor business. Maybe by doing this, saving 2,000 naira, I did 3,000 naira. I think it will be something. He said, God will see you through. Then I came back to Shubu because I was, I was at Ibadan there. I located back to Shubu there. I started with one and a half Kongo. So when I started, as this, I was dispatching to the all this uh, market to my boots, the other time, you know, like, I was 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 I keep on increasing the production till when when uh, all these uh, bakers so because I didn't play the flour, not uh, ordinary the one with mix with our hands and just put it to the road. Then I'll get it to the man. The man says, I can help you, but I don't know the time you start your work. I said, anytime you give me this, I'm the one that I'm looking for your help. He said, uh, uh, we used to finish, we used to start our work in the afternoon. They said, I have no problem, sir. I will as early as possible to come and work. Then before you start your work, then I'm done. So when this thing was going, I, I came, when I got his place, I started with half bag then. The half bag put to a bag, two bags, three bags, five bags, six bags a day. I did the thing there. We only started here on seven days. Every start on seven days. When uh, I came back there on December 2017, uh, 2018, I passed to my own personal house. Wow. And then during the process, people were coming in, other people were producing in my own same vicinity. But what they were doing there wasn't what I was producing. So then they don't want to spoil the business for me. Then I say another win out. I took a sticker and give it to all my customers. When they place the stickers on their uh, okay booth. So they say, are you from this grace? If you are not from this grace, we are not right for you. Go. Let this grace come. <laughs> During the process, another people seek pay. All because they want to collect that sticker and be selling their product again. So I do my customer. Once I see them, I pull it off out of their rubber. So God has seen me through this, is, this business. I have my own office now that I have it. And God has seen me back in. So my great goal, students, are just all just like, if your mistakes should be your, your it should be a lesson. It should be, it should be the end of life. And I'm happy today. I, I've trained so many people. I went to a When the woman was producing the water, the people were like, they want to expand the building. They couldn't get water from the company. You might have to think about that thing. One of the family members now bought those from the Jojo Tech, took it down to a PT then. He now said, Who did you do this? Do not take one life from a PT. 
and came down to me and said, I don't want to do this. I said, I was the one. The one. The man said, I'll, I'll beg you for something. Can you come down to me? It is go man. Teach me how to do this. I said, there's no problem, man. I'll come. Then I went to the police. The police was very big. I was like, what do you do not for? No, no, he said, my son, I've tried so many. They drink up to like 10 bottles here. They couldn't get water. Then I had to take a lot of things to do. And I trained her, and she was doing good there. So don't miss any of your time. Any of the opportunities, you can be great and so on. Thank you. Take your mistakes. Don't be afraid of challenges. They are part of your life. Learn from your mistakes. That was a wonderful testimony by His Grace. Can we please give him a big round of applause? Because of our time, we will not be able to quickly call on the female entrepreneur of the day. And we will be moving straight to the award presentation of the father and mother of the day. Should we start from the mother or we should start from the father? We should start from the father. We should go to the mother. The mother has it. So we're going to take the citation of the mother of the day. There are lots of people that really want to know the mother of the day. We've just been hearing the ye, the ye, the ye, mama booming on. So today we are going to know who ye, ye is. And to quickly do a citation, I would like to take a call on the director of the Director of the Campus and Public Affairs, Dr. Tui Shidansi, to read the citation of the Entrepreneurship Model of the Day. The Vice Chancellor, sir. Honestly, I really want to request Mama to stand up. But she has done that. Can we give her a round? So many things to learn today. That is humility. Another round of applause, please. The Vice Chancellor, sir, the mother of the day herself, the father of the day, distinguished principal officers of the university, distinguished professors, distinguished staff and students of this great university. It's my pleasure to stand here to present to all of us the maker of Adelike's family. But ordinarily, ordinarily in age, in everything, I do not qualify to do that, but I have to stand on the shoulders of my vice chancellor to do that. And so, thank you very much, sir. So, Chief Dr. Mrs. Mobute Ola Adelie Sami, the lecturer and the running point of Adelie's family is standing before you for recognition after an award. She was born to the wonderful Adelie dynasty of Edelan some 60 years ago. 64 years ago. The parents, Baba, Raji, Ayola, Adeleke, was the Balugu of Ereland, and the mother, Mama, Esther, Adeleke, the two of them, of blessed memory, had the little dupe at Engu during their sojourn there. Our educational process started from Anzaludin Primary School, through Lady Lagos, in the year 1967, and she was there until 1972. She proceeded to Baptist Girls High School, Oshoku Oshu State, in the year 1973, and she was also there till 1977. She chose a very noble profession targeted at saving lives. Can you guess what profession can be? Again? Nothing. 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 
She chose a very new profession targeted at saving lives in nursing. She started from the School of Midwifery in Bagnoyo State in the year 1980, and she was there till 1983 and proceeded to study nursing at the School of Nursing in Oshubu, Oshu State between 1983 and 1985. As a trained and registered midwife, she worked at Jericho Specialist Hospital in Baden in the year 1982 and later moved on to serve her very own people as she worked as a registered midwife at Maternity Center in Ede North Local Government. Her working experience took her to a popular hospital in London, United Kingdom. One of the most reputable hospitals in the world. We call it Hammersmith Hospital in London. That means Mama is an international nursing professional. When she returns to Nigeria, she was appointed the chair of Western Hotels Limited Ibadan, which comprises Premier Hotels and Lavia Hotels. Her zeal to serve and be an effective manager of human and material resources took her to work with a dynamic company known as Junior Ventures Limited as the managing directress. Chief Dr. Mrs. Dupe Adelike Sonny has worked assiduously to promote the company. She has been in the forefront of conversion and innovation of a previous company site to a modern university now famously known as Adelike University. As an equally midwife and supervised the building of, of an entirely new world class university campus, which we are all happily occupying today, which we are all happily proud of today. A woman of energy, a woman of substance, a woman of purpose, a woman of vision, and a woman of dreaming. Chief Doctor Mrs. Zupe Adelaide Sami has earned the prestigious chieftaincy titles of the Yenua of Edeland as a worthy daughter of Edeland. That is a title generously conferred by His Royal Majesty, the Timmy of Edeland, over Maldin, Adishalala, Wow, now Minister the First. And she is also, she is also the Yeye Oba of Iroko Ekiti Land. In 2017, Chief Mrs. Dupe Adelike Swami was awarded an honorary doctorate degree in project management by Adelike University. Earlier in the year, since 2019, she was given an honorary award of outstanding performance as a group managing director by the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Oshogo Branch. Chief Dr. Mrs. Adelike Sonny, popularly referred to as Yeye, has played a wonderful role of mother of the Adelike dynasty. As the Vice Chancellor and Producer, she is the mother of the governor. And the governor is the father of the whole state. Therefore, Mama is the mother of the whole state. Traveling, reading, mentoring, shopping, and she is blessed with a wonderful daughter and grandchildren. The God Almighty and her husband, Alhaji Sonny, have been very strong pillars behind all our successes. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the entrepreneurial mother of the day. The mother of the states, Chief Doctor Mrs. Mubukela Adeliki Sami.
Yeye, Bobo Père Alain de Sané, on behalf of your Sources University, Center for Entrepreneurship Studies and Innovation, I present to you this award of honor. In recognition of your contribution as the mother of the day at the 2023 training program, dated Monday, 31st July 2023. Thank you very much.
This is a gift from the university and it's our tradition to give it to our visitors. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. 
Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, with a standing ovation, can we please appreciate as I'm going to be bringing to the podium the entrepreneurship model of the day, the Yeye Kura, Yeye Mutupen Ateliki. So, can we please appreciate Mama? Please make a little Even with the 100 
business without risk, you have been told. There is no business without risk. You just have to take the risk. Don't go out there and follow those people that want to make money overnight. They are winning. The laws are going to cut up with them. Because when they start, they will think they are doing good things. But by the time the law gets out of there, they will, they will regret it and say, oh my God, I've been listening to my lecturers when they said you should go to uh, an entrepreneurship center and learn something. Learn, you have so many different things that we can learn. There are so many things that we can learn and make money. Is it not better for you to be a CEO of your company, an entrepreneur? That just started from somewhere. Look at it today. That just brother, son, started from somewhere. It is the uh, former president went to all this company in Lagos, a whole president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He's a small boy, son. So many people like that. The owner of Adeleke University, Dr. Dejadele, immediately graduated in the U.S. When he came back home, he's my brother. I can probably tell you that he did not work for salary, except that he served as a copper. After his service, he started business. Look at him today. He's the proud owner of Adeleke University. Is the problem of so many companies, power plants, so many things. You can start from somewhere. Just tell yourself, I am going to make it. Yes, like the like what the Lord told us. Don't be scared of what you want to do. If you want to start any business, have it in mind that I am going to. Think that is my own philosophy. I pray to God first. I'll fast and pray. I'll tell God, please, God, I want to start your this team. Make it successful. And my dear students, who will see you through? Don't go and be thinking about the money you are going to make for us, like our, our speaker told us. First of all, speak on the, what you want to create, your creativity. Money, he put it last. That was not what he said. Capital, last. Profit, last. Just think of what you want to create. You have so many things you can create. So many things that you are so lucky. I wish this was happening in our own time too. Ah. By now, I'm sure this will not sit down here and be sick. Give it to us that time. I mean, you have been counting dollars a pound. You see? But it wasn't we. We have to stop it. Our work. Our work. Work and earn salary. When I was uh, a student in a school of it, a I had my class need to say it. We were earning 75 naira. Yes, as a student. 75 naira per month. They pay us then. 75 naira. And that's the time that I so much. There's no way we can finish it. 75 naira. That time, I was in the bathroom. I will go to uh, Bandi, the old bank. If, uh, because my mom was an evil woman. This whole land is dead. The most expensive one of this is 12,000 naira. That is what I will buy for my mom. I say, ah, they are paid us a I will go to buy, I will buy one more than this, very fine one. And I will come to her and I will give it to my mom. My mom will say, where did you get money? I say, ah, hey, Nikkei. I was just paid salary, 75 naira. He said, hey, go and spend. I say, it's too much. What am I going to do with 75 naira? 75 naira, and this is 75,000. And I, every month I will still buy it with that for my mom. And I will still give people money. And I will spend this money, oh, it will not finish. <laughs> yes! But today, I don't have to be so
you have internet, you can Google anything. When I, my grandson, that is just 10 years old, if I want to do something on my phone, he say, Grandma, please, it's I say, I don't know. This one will be good for me, and I'll be looking like this. If I want to operate anything, I say, and I'll be fighting with it, and my grandson says, Grandma, what is this? Let me do it for you, and he will do it for you. You see, internet. Internet, oh. go on your internet. So supplement what you are taught in this great university. Go to your internet, go and look at webinar, uh, it is it for you. Search it, Google them. You will see it. Now, me too, I'm going on the internet. Before, I'm not used to going on the internet. But when my husband has been everything and showing me on the internet, me too, I say I know it now. I'm Google it. Me too, I Google now. I didn't listen. Listen, you are not going to Google it now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to mention the names of them because there is no free advice. In one of the days on Saturday, there is a man. He said that he was transformed from housemaid to CEO. The man was a Delta, he's in Delta, a Delta entrepreneur. I read it in one of the days, it's on Saturday, 29th. From housemaid to CEO and entrepreneur. Can you imagine that? Housemaid or model to a CEO. He's in Delta now, he's alive. He wrote his story in one of the days on the 29th. This is on Saturday. That is what we want you, our dear students, to meet. Please. Don't go into your real room. You are not a job seeker. You are job creators. Please, go through your internet. Go on webinar online. Register your company. And register enterprise. You don't have to spend much money to register. Eh? 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 You see, every production fills the gap in the state economic space. Not only the states, in the whole country, the Nigeria as a whole, we have too many unemployed students out there. It's because those that are not employed, that are not working now, that they are still in their parents' house, that their parents are still feeding them, it's because they did not face what they taught them in the entrepreneurship center. There is no way you don't see one thing that you do that will make you get money. There are men and ladies that do make up. Yes, before in the early days, we do make up ourselves. But now, if you want to do make up ourselves, you say, I don't know, I need that. You don't want to pay so much. We encourage them. You call those that are doing it to do it for you and you pay them. Most of them are graduates, so. Yes. Most of the people that are doing labor and time, they, they think they don't have, they don't have education. They are graduates and they are making money. They have cars. They have houses like Mr. Deke. Donuts. Donuts. You will think donuts is not bread. If a fortunate comes here today to tell you how many properties he has owned, baking bread. You will be surprised. I want to employ all of you. So please, listen to what the guest speaker and the VC and everybody has told you today. And please, make sure you put it on the left hand. Let us see you. I was so happy when the VC told me that one of the slaves that graduated here was the best dry cleaner. I did see Dry cleaner. The best. The best, though, they didn't say one of the dry cleaners, they said the best. This is what we want to be hearing about your students. Those of you that will be graduating, please go out there and be good ambassadors of the Shoe State University. God bless you all. Well.
Let me give you an example. When Portuguese wanted to stand their ground, they started in the law somewhere far. So some of, some of us, we believe what made us rich. They have these branches all over them. So let's say the southwestern part of the country. But we believe that Portuguese prayer started the same way our brother said. With just a bike and concord, the traditional concord that we know in our society today. And it started with just one bag of flour. First of all, so many months. A bag of flour. And I want to ask you to say, one of the things he dislikes the most is to be riding by he doesn't like it at all. But he somewhat courage. He was passionate about it. And they put up the energy. And today, someone who started with a bag of flour, we have branches in almost four or five states in the southwestern state now. We have a couple of times in the morning. We have another branch in the bag of flour. We have another branch here in Oshu, Oshu. We have a branch in Akure. We have another branch in a town very close to the Ophaye and the Kuala State. Now, in Oshu, the old branch everywhere, they started with just a bag of flour. Now, in Oshu, we produce nothing less than one for We should include this in our curriculum. There is this prejudice and stigmatization against those who are engaged in those leaderships. So, as civil is here, can a painter who sells bread to just a bike and purple come to you and approach you? You are saying? Another thing 
you is to be professional and we should get professional. We should get professional. We go for trainings. We seek trainings. We look for people that will guide us. Today I'm here with the barrister to listen to our company. Is that the best? We seek his opinion on anything that has any other things that will affect our company. Any new thing that will affect us in the other way or that will add value to us. Once you don't know your rights, you teach it. You know your rights, you pay your dues to the government. Then everything that belongs to you will remain yours. So we should get professional. The final one to the point is you personally should be professional in whatever you do. Being professional, at the same time, you should ensure uniqueness in what you do. If you are not a professional in your field, you will not be able to manage your business for a longer period. If you rely on people to work for you, for example, in baby business, if you don't know anything about this, you see people who have a lot of money and they invested their money in baby business because they do not have the knowledge, they do not make profits. But if you have the knowledge, even if your workers, your workers, your employees are popping up, they are doing nothing. You will be able to correct those things and be on the right track. And again, you should ensure your uniqueness. One of the things that we bread is enjoying today is the uniqueness of their products. So what kind of babies? All they have is bread. Bread is bread. The only thing that differentiates their bread is price. This one is 100 naira. This one is 200 naira. This one is 500 naira. But in fortunate bread, we have a name for each product that we produce. It is only important that you have company 50-50, company to book, company to banner, company to smoke banner, company to premium, company to banner. Yes, almost 19 to 20 different products. That is to ensure the movement. It is flower and flower. But you make it differently, different flavor, and that will ensure the movement. Then you always pay the attention of the customers. Then you stay competitive, briefly. The first one is to be consistent. The second one is to be generous. You should be generous too. You should give out. That will defend us from external forces that will affect us. But I say you should be generous. I'm not saying you should be foolish or stupid. To some of us who are just starting our business, we are starting up a business for 5,000, 20,000 years. Because we are not really just in this part of the world and you are not as come to buy something from you. You are, the total growth is not even up to 2,000. And you are giving like 5,000 something to your pastor because you are getting mad. That is not generosity, it is stupidity and foolishness. Yes, the whole thing, the whole, you, you are not going to earn up to 2,000 or something, and you are giving like 5,000. So, being generous does not mean to be stupid. And finally, to sustain the business of that world, we should be prayerful. We need prayers. We, what my mama said, for us to sustain what we are doing, we should be praying. And again, to do, fortunate prayer, only in the school, has almost two to three thousand people working with them directly or indirectly. It's a means of creating jobs in a society. And fortunate to do, as I think it has, it has even helped. The state government, it will defend that government. Because the state government is not going to create white collar jobs for every one of us. Yes. So the, the complaint I'm trying to make is that we should be ready, be consistent, and we should not be left in whatever we do. We have to invite you to be with us and to guide us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Part of the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria and the Public Relations Officer of the University. With the permission of the Vice Chancellor, we will have to charge the envy of a uh, fortunate men for that advertisement. We are going to send the account number to you. If you refuse to pay, we will send a letter to you. The deadline of the payment is. Uh, Is that the deadline of the payments? Please. It should be nothing less than 500,000. Is that the 
mention 48 bread more than 10 times, so it should be more than 1 million naira. I believe the barista of uh, the barista working in Portugal bread can hear me. So how come has my back? So we can send that letter. It's compulsory for you to make the payments. I'd like to humbly call on the vice chancellor, Professor Brian Kenyon, to come and take over. This is to be done by the registrar, but I'm just to give closer remarks. Perhaps to give the closer remarks, I have to tell you to make use and make do with all that you have had today by giving you only two examples. Coca-Cola was established in 1986 and it was launched in Atlanta, Georgia, United States, and it sold only 25 bottles in the span of all one year. Coca-Cola is now a brand name all over here, selling millions. Bottles per day. 1886, only 25 bottles sold. And today, it's everywhere. There was this professor at the Harvard University who developed a type of camera called Polaroid camera. Those of us who are holding up here know Polaroid camera. Polaroid camera operates by snapping the picture and printing it out almost within one minute. It was what was common in our secondary school days. It was a research job was a research project of a PhD student. Immediately they tested that camera and it worked. The professor resigned from the university group and established Polaroid Company. And Polaroid sold over 10 million cameras within one year. And the professor has not worked since then. He lives on the royalty and the money made from that business. Those are two great examples that I want us to learn from. There are many things to tap, to latch onto, take advantage of, and make our life better, forever and forever. Those are the two examples. I want to inform you, Mama. We have a system in this university. This entrepreneurship program that they are doing is not for fun. A student must pass it before the student will be able to graduate from this university. No possibility is attached to it but it's on a past or failed basis. So if you take an entrepreneurship program at 200, 300, or at 300 and 400 levels, and you fail, you cannot graduate. So it is something that the student must be serious about, and the student must be serious today. That's our policy in the university. And lastly, I want to tell you, you have gained so much experience today. You are likely to be able to launch yourself into this open world, this competitive world, Local market economy and capitalistic system. When you make money, and you are just starting to make money, I'm not going to ask you to do First, build your business. Thank you, and God bless you.
The final part of the university, started in 2007, when the PDP was in government. And today, it is now the PDP that is now completing this university. We also thank God for that. That's a coincidence of better thing. The doctor, not only that is popular, in less than four months, he was able to produce 24 out of assembly members out of 26 to show his popularity. 25 out of 26 to show his popularity. So we thank the governor and our visitor for what they have been doing for the university. We thank them. Now to the mother of the states. That is the mother of the identical partner, Chief Mrs. Yelua. I believe this morning, we really appreciate you. You will not miss our alias. Our alias is a fix it all. <laughs> the thing is that I think you will call you. See that, she will fix it for you. <laughs> it will be okay. See that, she will fix it for you. Anything you will see that, that is his alias. Fix it for her. And then we can go up with that degree. Because it's a pillar of the state. Everybody, as we are sitting, we are sitting with a backbone. When we talk of a backbone of our independent dynasty, backbone of the state, we are lucky to have Momo Chibutis Yeluwa Adeleke as the backbone of the state. We really are grateful for that. So, our amiable and energetic fight and service are team leader. You have said it when you talk of an international scholar, Professor Odwai Clement. I think he is an international scholar of reference. When you talk of a managerial acumen, he has a serial man. Everybody in this university has been going to the general professor too. Because it was a managerial acumen. In other parts, it is only when you move closer that in everything in size, in weight, in knowledge, Professor Odai has the intention to be doing in this university. Then to the real speaker of today, Professor Sarani. By tomorrow, you will not be more you will not become the focus of the College of Environment and Speaker Sciences. We really appreciate what you are doing for us today. How you have been doing to all the students who have been coming to your way and have been having it as a very fun way. We thank you for what you have been doing to us. So the final of the day, yes, like I said it, we are spoken here and you are going to pay our fine, like I said it. But, uh, <laughs> but in really now, you are a shining example to every entrepreneur because in at this southwest, cultural bread is a house and name that everybody knows about that bread. The better that means, we are in the heart, just need to say that we want to be known. We thank you for accepting to come here and for you have done to us. So, all the principal officers here, the deputy five chancellor, the Bosa, the Liberia, and others, we really appreciate you for what you have come to the university, for actually working as one team. We thank you. To all the posts, leads, and directors, we really appreciate you. To our great students, great Nigerian students, great Nigerian students, without students, we cannot be here. We really appreciate you for your contributions. Then to the, to the owner of today, that Dr. Ajay Pepe I want to say you are lucky to have the mother of the day and the father of the day. They actually have a lot of things to do to them. We also thank you that you are lucky. So to everybody, I say thank you all. Thank you.
outside that we can visit the Center for Entrepreneurship Studies for our own entertainment. For students to be entertained here. Later after you finish your lunch, there is going to be a talent show. But you need to eat well.